Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 21st to the 27th of March. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius, in this reading, I'm going to be looking at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Your challenge is the Seven of Cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands in reverse. Okay. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the Seven of Cups energy. I am strongly getting there is some sort of confusion in your life. You're trying to make sense of something here. Uh, for a number of you, a small number of you, there is someone here, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that you've been dating. Um, you've been in this place of confusion when it comes to this person. You've really wanted to gain clarity and truth about them. For others of you, you are finding it challenging maybe to um, focus on something here because of the confusion that is in your life. And there's something here about you downsizing or needing to get very clear on what it is that you want uh, moving forward. So we're going to clarify the Seven of Cups and get more information on this for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the High Priestess. I do feel in the recent past, you were dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I do feel like this person was moving extremely slowly towards you. There may have even been periods of silence between you and this person. A lot of uncertainty. Uh, but even though this was happening, there was still always this level of cooperation or wanting to work on things with you in the recent past. So we're going to get some more information on that when we clarify for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, we have the Magician, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Swords. So I'm really strongly getting in the present moment for many of you. Someone here is closed off. They need to make some sort of decision about something here because there's a situation here that has been very... How do I put this? It's like somebody here is very defensive. They are constantly on guard when it comes to some sort of situation here. And it's really kind of getting you into this place of needing to manifest yourself out of this. The magician is here in the present moment. So it's like you're trying to take things how do I say this? It's like you're trying to gain control back of some sort of situation because it's been very either toxic or it's been kind of on and off. Um, and a decision has to be made about this situation because for many of you, the situation may not be stable in the present moment. We're going to find out more in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the King of Cups, the Justice, and the Two of Cups. So I do feel in the near future, you are going to have, there's somebody here who's coming in and they're going to offer you a lot of love. Like they're going to offer you a lot of love here. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Libra. Whoever this person is, they want a relationship with you. They're really serious about you. Could even be a Leo here. We have the lion here at the top. Uh, so it looks like there is a relationship that's coming into your life that is going to be brought back into balance here for you. And it looks like there's a lot of love surrounding this situation. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, World, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is a situation that you thought was over and done with is not completely done yet. You still have something here that you need to close out with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, you also have a... Um, earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus you've been in separation with someone here okay and you know ever since you've been in separation with this person there's been a lack of communication what you don't see coming is is that eventually you and this person are going to talk and you are going to come out of separation it may not seem like you and this person are going to come out of separation but in order for you to even have this new beginning Sagittarius like I said a lot of you want to have a new beginning maybe with someone else or you just want to have a new beginning in general in your life personally you have to close something out that ended very badly with someone from your past okay completely forgiveness apologizing releasing and I did do a reading um, not a reading but a discussion on my second channel which you can find on this channel if you scroll down 
um, on the main page, you can find that re that discussion that I do. And some of you need to hear that, okay? Not everybody is gonna need that, but some of you do because what you don't see coming is there is a new beginning, but the new beginning is blocked because of resentment or past trauma that you didn't completely heal or disconnect from in your past, okay? And this is totally spiritual and energetic. A lot of people are gonna watch this and not understand because they're not spiritual. Um, so depending on the level of spirituality that you're connected to is gonna be the level of whether or not this new beginning is gonna happen for you successfully, okay? So that's what you don't see coming. Now, let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Cups. You have the Three of Swords and the Hangman. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with someone here who's been on and off with you. This person has lacked the ability to take action towards you. This person caused you a lot of pain. Air sign, Aquarius, Saber, Gemini, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting Pisces really strong here. This person has been very in and out of your life, on and off, in and out, in and out. You never really know where you stand with this person. And you've never really been able to clear the air with this person. And again, this is your biggest challenge challenge right now because when this person hurt you when there was pain caused between you and this person it was very very much confusing to you you didn't understand it understand or overstand it and spirit is saying in order for you to move forward without being in this confusion and without being in this stagnation in your life your pain within your heart needs to be healed. And that could happen in a number of ways. It could happen by having a conversation with someone, writing a letter to this person, saying to them, look, I don't have any resentment towards you, but I am disconnecting from you energetically in order for me to be able to move forward to my new beginning. Okay, um, we are entering Aries season in the next few weeks, which is a fellow fire sign to you, which means this new beginning is very important for you. And you don't want some sort of past pain and trauma to hold you back. Okay, and cause confusion. So that is your challenge. That's what I'm seeing. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles in the recent past. So the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like in the recent past, somebody here was moving extremely slowly towards you. They did want to have a new beginning with you. They even wanted to offer having a new beginning with you in the past. I do feel like this person wanted to work things out with you, but because there was still a lot of silence and a lot of uncertainty between you and this person, this may have not happened. Okay, because it was just taking too long to happen. Tell me more about the high priestess in the recent past for Sagittarius. So the high priestess is clarified by the tower. You have the fool and the hierophant. Ooh, wow. So somebody here, here's the thing. Your relationship with this person was breaking down in the past. Something that seemed very solid in the past stopped working. And again, you and this person wanted to have a new beginning in the past, but because there was so much instability inside of the connection in the recent past, the new beginning may have not been as successful as you wanted it to. Because, you know, in this new beginning, there was still breakdowns in communication. There was still um, on and off energy, slow moving energy as well, too. So as a result of that, something here in the past didn't move forward as quickly as maybe you wanted or anticipated in the past. Now, in the present moment, I do feel someone here is closed off. Some of you are dealing with a Libra, maybe a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Tell me more about the two of swords in the present moment for Sagittarius. So the two of swords is clarified by the seven of wands in reverse, the nine of swords and the high priestess. Whoever this person is in the present moment, they've been super silent or they haven't really been expressing much to you. And the reason why this is Sagittarius is because they are sensing that you've been closed off or you've been very defensive or unavailable to them. And this person is often in anxiety and fear about the fact that they don't talk to you. It's like there's a lack of exchange between you and this person, genuine exchange, okay? Why are you coming across as being closed off? Tell me more about the seven of wands in the present moment. <clears throat> 
So the seven of swords is, or excuse me, the seven of wands is clarified by the king of swords, the seven of cups and the page of wands. Yes. Okay. So this is where it gets interesting in your reading. The reason why there's a delay, the reason why something here is not moving forward the way that you want to is because you have some sort of unresolved issues with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and you really want to move forward. You're tired of dealing with these people from the past. You're tired of dealing with the drama. You're, you know, it's very energetic. Sagittarius, very important message. Hopefully you're listening. There's something here about a confusing situation in your life and spirit is saying it is time for you to clear this up, whatever it is. Part of the reason why you're finding it difficult to manifest what it is that you want, whatever it is that you want, okay? Put, put a name on it. What is it that you want in the present moment at this time? It is blocked and it is blocked because something here has not been cleared up. There's been some sort of issues in your life that you've been avoiding, that you have been avoiding resolving with a specific person. And one of the things I have to say, I'm going to say this, and it's not going to resonate with everyone, but I have to say it because it's, you know, this is almost for all signs, but because this is your reading, I'm specifically telling you because you need to hear it. I'm really strongly getting a lot of you are trying to end a cycle. It's been difficult. You kind of feel like it's already done. You're like, oh, it's done. It's, you know, I'm, I'm over it. But for many of you, there's still loose ends that need to be tied up. And that's why every time you try to start to have a new beginning or you try to do something new, you feel tired, you feel like people are bothering you, you feel like you're attacked. And it's because there's something energetic in your life that it's like you don't want to look at it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to deal with it. Very similar to Pisces energy. It's like you don't want to see this situation, but it's actually stopping you from manifesting what you truly want. Okay. And this is something that you need to be aware of because even though you may not talk to this person anymore, uh, high priestess, you're still energetically connected to them and they feel that. And it's actually causing confusion in your life. And that's why you feel confused sometimes or you feel like things are, are blocked for you. And this is why you need to be consciously aware of releasing. And I highly recommend if you're watching this and it resonates for you to look up online how to do cord cutting, how to release an ex from the past, how to release trauma within you, because that's what's going to open you up to this ability to get back to this energy of the magician. You are the magician, but it is blocked right now because of this energetic attachment that you still have with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly even a Leo. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing in the present moment. Now, in the near future, because you've watched this reading and you're consciously aware of what's going on in the near future, you have something very interesting and amazing that's going to happen for you. I do feel like somebody here who loves you a lot is going to finally open up to you. You're going to feel a major liberation. You're going to feel like, wow, I'm finally feeling like I'm loved. I finally feel like I'm appreciated. I finally feel like I can have the love that I always truly deserve because you deserve love. We all deserve love. But there's certain trials and tribulations that we have to get over in order for it to happen. So I do see for many of you, beautiful connection coming in for you, but something here is going to be set right for you. So what's going to be set right for you with the justice here in the near future? So the justice is clarified by the six of pentacles. You have the magician and the seven of swords. Wow. See, there's the magician. Exactly what I said to you in the near future, you're realizing in, or what I exactly said to you in the present moment is what you're realizing in the near future. For many of you, you are going to bring um, balance back to a deceptive situation or person. If you experienced uh, lying, cheating, deception, whatever the case may be, you're putting it behind you, six of pentacles, you're releasing. And if you see this uh, card, you see two hands exchanging a letter. So some of you in the near future, you're going to be messaging someone or exchanging a letter and saying, look, I just want to set things right with us. I know that I was wrong or I know that you were wrong. Whatever the case may be, maybe both of us were wrong. It was a learning experience. This was a learning experience for you. Whatever the trauma was that you experienced in the past that led to so much confusion that you're still very much in confusion, it is going to be about you releasing the situation with the magician. And, you know, what this is going to do, some of you may be saying, no, I don't want to call this person because I'm going to look like the fool. It's not about you looking like a fool. That's ego. It's about you saying, look, 
I appreciate the experience that I had with you. I learned a lot. Now I want to move forward with my life and I'm releasing you energetically. Thank you very much. Have a nice life. And it's not a bad thing. It's not a negative thing. This is about you saying, look, it's time for me to move forward because you're making room for love. You're making room for real love, true love in the near future. How are you supposed to have real love and true love if you're still holding on to something that energetically happened in the past um, with you and a specific person that has led to so much confusion? It's definitely a spiritual um, experience for you. So if you do this and you release this person correctly, tell me more about this um, relationship in the near future with the Two of Cups for Sagittarius. Okay, so the Two of Cups is clarified by the Hermit, the Four of Cups, and the Six of Cups. In order for this relationship in the near future that you're in to completely manifest and blossom the way that you want it to, you need to go within yourself. And this is what I feel like you're going to be doing. You're going to be going inside of yourself and asking yourself, why did this person from the past reject me? Why did I reject them? Why did I go through this? What 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 is the lesson here for me to learn? There's a lot of... Um, introspection that's happening in the near future for you because that's what's going to get you onto the right path, Sagittarius. I'm strongly getting that you have a strong connection relationship that's coming in. And unless you deal with something from the past that really affected you, it's just going to manifest in your new relationships. A lot of people say, you know what? I don't care about the person from the past because I'm just going to find someone better. But what we don't realize is, is that soulmates manifest in multiple people. It's the lesson that we have to learn here. Once you identify that, I see you being able to completely move forward with someone here that really loves you okay so this is what i'm seeing in the near future now let's get some advice Okay, so the advice here for you is the three of pentacles, the hangman, and the four of wands. Your biggest piece of advice here is to recognize in your life that certain relationships that you're involved in are going to require cooperation. The important message for you, Sagittarius, is to identify relationships in your life that require your cooperation so that you can release yourself from them. Hangman. Some of you are still connected energetically to relationships that have not been working out for you, but there's something here that you need to look at from a different perspective. By you looking at this situation from a different perspective and by you being open to cooperating it is going to make room for a true relationship, a marriage, a commitment to work in your favor. For many of you, you're already in a relationship or relationships coming into your life, but you need to identify what it takes to maintain a relationship. That means being open to cooperation, being open you know, to looking at things from a different perspective and not always being in this place of being stubborn and not being open because the more you're, you're doing that, the more you're sabotaging your relationship the more you are finding it difficult to even, you know, be in a relationship and it shouldn't have to be like that. Your biggest piece of advice here is to cooperate with people because by you cooperating with people, it's going to lead to you finding and having that stability that you deeply seek. Okay. So Sagittarius this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.